All right, this is my first video of Nobara. This is the non-official version at this time, but they are going to make this version the official version. And here's what I'm talking about. Let's bring over my notes. So Nobara is my favorite, probably overall Linux distribution. It's up there with Cinnamon, uh, Linux Mint, and maybe just regular Fedora. But this one has so many tweaks, and Glorious Egg Roll is the user that is just amazing. He works on, well, he's like in charge of Proton. Um, this is like a gaming plugin for Linux. And anyways, long story short, this version of Nobara that I'm going to be reviewing quickly today is the KDE version. It's not the official version, but it will become the official version, as you can see here, according to his website. It says KDE, and this is uh, 38, version 39 will be the official one. Now, GNOME was the official version, and the tweaks that he applied to it are so awesome. It made it just feel like it just has everything I want. So being that that's no longer going to be the main version, you can see here it says it's going to be deprecated. Nova, Nobara 39 will be based on KDE, and so I'm switching over. So then what I'm just planning on doing is just upgrading it or updating and it will become the official one. I reinstall Linux so much anyways it probably wouldn't affect me but let's kind of give it a, a shot now. Leave page. Okay so here we are. This is the login screen and I've already logged in and just ran the first update but now I'm actually at the welcome screen that they give you. And the Nobara welcome screen is so nice and polished. It's just easy to follow. And if you're having uh, this run on a computer with a NVIDIA chip or a GPU, it will give you the option to, you know, detect and install the kernel that will support it, I guess. And they make it really easy. So right here, you got first steps, update my system. I already did that. And there's the proprietary NVIDIA drivers. And then web apps, just I mean, links to websites, basically. But these versions of the software here that say KDN Live, there's some tweaks built into these. And it's just optimized to run really well. And that's what I've seen. It just runs really well, Nobara does. And anything that breaks, it will be usually on their website. They'll just have like an FAQ or just a bunch of people, you know, posting about something. And it will generally tell you how to fix it. Look and feel. I'm not going to mess with this yet, like I said, because this is going to become the standard version of Nobara. But they're going to theme it, and I can't wait to see how they theme it because it's going to look better than anything I can do with the uh, theme creation. So, yeah, that's really... You got the community here and contribute and whatever. So I'm going to uncheck this, and I'm going to get started. Let's close this. Okay, my mouse pointer looks weird. It's, maybe it's a virtual machine doing that. One thing that caught my eye is it comes with Chromium web browser. Not a fan, but that's just me. I don't like that it out of the box. It generally gives you the option to sync with a Google account, which I don't want to sync anything to Google anymore if I don't have to. So let's see. Yeah, sign in. You can sign in and search to, uh, sync it to a Google account. I'm pretty sure. All right, so first thing I would do, this is me. I would close this, and then I would go to, there's a Nobara Package Manager, I think. Is that what they call oh, They call it Discover. Is this Nobara? Yeah, Nobara Package Manager. I'm going to run Discover. And we're going to look for Firefox, which they will have. Firefox. There it is. Let's install it. And let's remove Chromium. Uh-oh, I'm getting an error. Conflicts with the file from Nobara. Open H. Okay. Let's try the Flatpak version here. Flatpak never does me wrong. Not anymore anyways. Okay, it's downloading. Now let's go find Chromium. And we're going to go here. We're going to click on Remove. See how easy this is. Awesome. It's gone. So Chromium is no longer here. Let's try Kate. I think this is the numbered text editor. I don't like the little wizard or the welcome thing on Kate, but 
whatever. It's a cool text editor, has a lot of power. Um, so that comes installed by default. Let's go see if we have Firefox yet. There we go. We're going to go to Internet, and there it is. You right-click on it, Add to Panel, and there's my Firefox browser. Twice. <laughs> okay, let's click that, see how fast it launches for a flat pack. Very, very quickly. And again, this is a virtual machine. It's just like 8 gigs of RAM inside my desktop computer. So let's look through these apps, okay? How about this? We're going to go through administration. You got firewall, language, development. You got Kate, QT, oops, QT, or QD bus viewer, education, math. <laughs> Now here's where some more tweaks come in. Proton, this is his baby. This is what Glorious Agro knows all about. This is why this distribution, I trust it. I, I think it's just, I have a good feeling about it, but it's not on, even on DistroWatch, I don't think. I don't see it on their site, but it's like one of the best Linux distributions I've ever used. So I kind of want to do my own thing with Linux when it comes to just dis discovering new distributions. This is because it's this is so great and I missed out on it for however long it's been out. Let's see. So development, we already went through that. Education, games, Lutris. These are all gaming things. Graphics. Got Inkscape. We don't see GIMP. Well, oh, well, I'll install that later. Web apps, multimedia. Interesting. Let's go to Office. There's the full Office suite for LibreOffice. Oops. Can't click anymore either. Dolphin, Fedora Media Writer. You can see the Fedora tools on here, so that gives you the first hint that this is Fedora based. Menu Editor. Let's see how this looks. Awesome. Automatic mouse click. What? What does that mean? It will run as a background application after you close this to change this. In. Okay, so is this to keep your computer awake? I don't know. But that's kind of interesting to mess with. All right. Utilities. K-Mouth. Speech synthesizer. Screen magnifier. Don't want to mess with that. I could lose my spot on the screen if it like zooms up and I can't get zoomed out. All right, so that's really it. I mean, this is a really well-running operating system. I highly recommend it. It runs so well. I don't really ever have it crash. So I hope you learned something from my video today, and thanks for watching.